at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how great your business is run behind the scenes and your fulfillment. You could have the best cleaners around. If you cannot continually get clients and drive sales, it doesn't matter. That is priority number one. Anyone that's going out and doing something new for the first time, it's a struggle. Whether whether that's, you know, as, as a, a young kid reading in class, you know, it makes you nervous. Or then as you get older and you're in high school and you have to stand up in front of the class and give a speech. That's rough. That's scary because you've never done it before. And you're, you think everyone's going to judge you. But what people don't realize is... So, you know, interesting story, because I'm thinking as you're telling your story, I'm going, okay, you are obviously an, an entrepreneur, right? And some people debate that uh, that franchisees are not really entrepreneurs. I've heard many people say that, uh, which I think is an interesting uh, comment and has some merit to it, actually. Um, and so I'm thinking you went out, started your own thing. And then you got in, into franchising, but it makes it makes sense that you know someone had kind of you know pitched you on on joining. I just want to take a step back for a second and just acknowledge because we have a lot of folks that listen that are franchise buyers, but we also have a lot of franchisees that listen as well. And so, one of the things that I learned as um, a more operationally driven individual is that sales and marketing are king. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how great your business is run behind the scenes and your fulfillment. You could have the best cleaners around if you cannot continually get clients and drive sales. It doesn't matter. That is priority number one. And so what I hear is that like your success was not an accident. <laughs> I mean, you were there knocking on doors, right? Cold calling. And there's a lot of people that maybe have the same idea as you weren't probably willing to do that when you take yourself back to that time i mean i know you were a teenager at that time were you nervous were you scared what was going through your head as you're going and doing these things were people giving you objections did you teach yourself how to overcome and how to sell these people like tell us about that that part yeah it, it was it was uh it was scary um it makes you nervous, you know, back, back in the day, <clears throat> probably, you know, doing those first couple of walk-ins, those first cold calls, uh, yeah, I was probably sweating, you know, like literally probably had to change my shirt, you know, after doing them. And, and I think that's normal. I, I, I don't think that that's anyone that's going out and doing something new for the first time. It's a struggle, whether, whether that's, you know, as, as a, a young kid reading in class, you know, it makes you nervous. Or then as you get older and you're in high school and you have to stand up in front of the class and give a speech, that's rough. That's scary because you've never done it before. And you're, you think everyone's going to judge you. But what people don't realize is everyone goes through that same process. And it doesn't matter what business it's in. It doesn't matter what you're doing in your life. Everyone takes that next step and it's always scary. And, you know, I, I always tell our, our franchise owners when they're nervous about going out and doing something, it's like, you know, are you married? Yes. Okay. Well, were, were you nervous? about getting married and taking that first step? Well, well of course I was. And, and I'll ask, do you own a home? Well, yeah. Well, weren't you nervous? You know, taking out a, a mortgage of $100,000 or $200,000 or, you know, or whatever it is. And they said, well, it was the most money I ever borrowed. It was, yeah, it was scary. So the point is you, you do things in your life that are scary, but you need to do that to grow as a person. And, uh, you know, so I, I was very fortunate. I learned that at a very young age, um, but still, when I would go out, you know, we started franchising and I would present an FDD to somebody for the first time or back then it was called the UFOC. But I knew and I was sweating bullets. I, it just made me totally nervous to do this. And the funny thing was, even if I made a mistake, the person I was presenting to had no idea. It, it didn't matter. But after you do something three, four five times, then you've got a comfort level and then you have the confidence and you can do it without even thinking twice about it. And um, even doing, you know, podcasts like this, you know, the, the first couple that I did was like, oh man, what, what if I say something wrong? What if, what if the, the host doesn't like me? What if they're the, the, the content they're looking for, you know, we don't, we don't match, we don't fit in. And the reality is it's just a conversation. And it's, it's, if, if you and I can sit here and talk, it doesn't matter whether it's being recorded and going out to, to your followers or if it's just you and me having a conversation. 
and and people need to realize that they they don't need to be afraid they don't need to, to be be concerned yeah is it scary to do something new is it scary to to, to 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 buy a franchise and get into that world absolutely you're taking a big risk and if you're not comfortable taking that risk then don't do it but there's nothing worse than 10 years from now sitting back and saying you know i wish i would have done this because you can't turn the clock and and that's that's the scary thing is if you don't do it what are you going to miss out on 